So the Milwaukee Bucks are the next 2017 team that I will be rebuilding, if you cannot already tell by the title of this video. Uh, continuing with the young teams, I like the young teams just because they also have a lot of assets and young players. And most of the time they do have picks. Uh, I'm not really sure why young teams typically have a lot of picks. Probably because they suck from giving up players from the past. But yes, the Milwaukee Bucks also, before I want to get into this, uh, the background song that you guys are hearing right now, the first one. Uh, is from a subscriber of mine, Tyrone MVP, I believe is his name. Uh, the link to his music will be in the description. Uh, I don't know if he's just starting making music, but he's uh, he just only has a couple of videos on YouTube. So he asked me to put it in the video, and I thought it was a cool beat. So I decided to throw it in for the first background song. So yes, that is the first background song that you guys are hearing. If you guys would just do me a favor, go check it out his channel, show him some support, tell him I sent you. So let's go ahead and get into this rebuild. Uh, Giannis is obviously on a one-year deal. Uh, he does not have a team option. Uh, that's kind of tough. We're going to have to re-sign him. Uh, pretty sure we should have bird rights on him. Uh, we only have two right now, but I'm pretty sure after this year we should have three bird years on him just so it counts as bird rights. Uh, Middleton is probably going to go. Monroe's definitely going to go for 17. Uh, Jabari Parker's staying, definitely. Uh, MCW's probably staying. Matthew Delva Doofus is getting the hell out of here. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to get this worked out with the Philadelphia 76 just, just to get rid of Matthew Delva Dova's contract. Uh, quick rebuilding tip, if you ever need to dump salary, typically go to the 76ers if it is in the first year. Just because they have such young team, they have a lot of money, or the, they can take in a lot of money, that's what I meant to be saying. Uh, they're probably not going to want to do this. Uh, they have a counter offer, John Henson, who actually also wanted to trade for Gerald Henderson. Okay, that's not bad. It gets actually rid of a lot of salary, so in total, uh, we're getting rid of, uh, what's that, like 21 million for like 10 million. So 11 million gone, just swapping second round picks there as well, so... No problem there. I so I know I said I wanted to get Devin Booker from the Suns, and you know what? They gave me a perfect offer. I wanted to get rid of Greg Monroe anyways. Uh, we do have to uh, also give up Steve Sir, who I don't really know who that is, honestly. Uh, we do have to eat Tyson Chandler's contract, which I'm just probably going to trade him. And then Devin Booker is going to be our shooting guard or the future. So let's go ahead and try to get rid of Tyson Chandler and his $12.5 million salary when Tyson Chandler was still actually relevant. Thank you so much, Brooklyn. I love the Brooklyn Nets. Just also another team that can eat salary. Middleton, give me, give me Kevin Love for Middleton, and then I'll trade Mirza Toledovic. Uh, my, jeez, I hate my college contract. Ooh, Derek Favors. Would I rather have Derek Favors or Kevin Love? Ooh, that's a good deal. All right, you know what? I am kind of taking in the same amount of money. I'm kind of losing a little, or I'm kind of like losing a little bit of salary space. But you know what? Zach Levine's also going to be nasty. And then I'm going to try to trade Ricky Rubio and a couple of picks. So what can I get for Ricky Rubio and two future firsts? So give me something good for it. And that might all be all the trades for season one. I'm going to try to get the Wizards first round pick if that is possible in any way. Uh, I don't need a really... All right, come on. Give me someone kind of a big man. All right, you know what? I have to work out a trade, get rid of Ricky Rubio, and I'll see you guys once I have that trade. All right, guys, since the uh, Orlando Magic do have Bismack Biombo now, I'm going to see if they want to accept this deal. Ricky Rubio in, like, four second-round picks. For Nikola Vucevic, uh, see if they want to do that counter offer. CJ Watson, $5 million. Uh, Tyler Ennis, only for a million. I'm not looking to do that right now. Uh, just because I want to say, oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Uh, take Rubio and then give me, or I'll give you a 2019 first-round pick. There we go. That gets us a good center. So... Oh, we lost all of our point guards. Okay, can Zach Levine be a point guard? I feel like he can definitely be a point guard. Uh, if I change Zach Levine to the point guard position, his overall was like a 79 right now. What happens if I change him to point guard and then a secondary be shooting guard? He goes to a, oh no, 77. That is not working out for me. No, I don't like his overall dip in that much. So I guess his he is better at shooting guard. Uh, and then his backup can just be the shooting guard position, or his point guard position, I'm sorry. So free agency. Uh, Mario Chalmers is here. Our uh, roster's full, so I'm going to sign Mario Chalmers, and then I actually know I can't cut in yet uh, because I have to show you guys what I do. Whoops, where am I going? For the Wizards first round pick, which I do want to get. Give him a team option just so I can keep him there. And then that might be it for season one. Uh, I'm liking this rotation right now. This team seems pretty good, so I might try to get our try to get the Wizards pick from them for our first round pick this year, just because I feel like we're going to be good this year, so no problem there. Uh, take, you know what, fine, you know what, take, actually, no, don't take Jeremy Grant. Take, sure, take Malcolm Brogdon for a 2018 first-round pick. No risk there, you know what, we'll keep our first-round pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. All right, guys, so we're taking an absolutely huge risk here. I've been simming some games, and this trade just popped up. 
Now, Giannis and Mirza Toledovic, we get rid of his $10 million contract, and we get D'Angelo Russell back. We do have to give up Giannis, as you can see, but he is going to be a free agent, so I can go after him anyways. There's no, not really, I mean, there's kind of a big risk, but we also have a first-round pick this year, so if we're not good with the rookies, I mean, not the rookies, the second-year players at this point, we can just, you know, we can have a good pick. So, I mean, big trade here, kind of blockbuster, but Giannis is going to be in free agency anyway, so D'Angelo Russell, welcome to the team. Uh... I know some of you might be pissed for that. Uh, I do not want Jeremy Grant starting. I want Zach Levine's or Devin Booker playing small forward because I believe, yeah, he can play small forward. He's 6'6 and Zach Levine's 6'5. So kind of a big trade there. I know it might not have been worth it, but I personally think it's going to help the team the best. And then I'm going to continue simulating season one, and I'll see you guys at the end of it. We're currently 6-4, and four, and then that trade just popped up. So don't get mad at me for that, you Bucks fans, but I'll try to resign him in free agency. And at the end of season number one, Stephen Curry is your MVP. 28.5 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, and 8 assists. Ben Simmons wins Rookie of the Year for the Philadelphia 76ers. Jared Sollinger wins Sixth Man of the Year in Toronto. DeAndre Jordan made his way over to New York, and he is the Defensive Player of the Year. CJ McCollum wins Most Improved. And Tyron Lue of the 64-18 and 18. Cleveland Cavaliers is your Coach of the Year, so I guess maybe the Warriors did not have the best record. Uh, I don't really care about any of this. Maybe, I mean, we clearly didn't make the playoffs, so maybe that risk didn't work out. But look at the standings. We have our pick in the Wizards pick, and the Wizards finished dead last, and we finished second to dead last in the East. So we're going to have some good picks. Uh, maybe not in the NBA because the Lakers sucked, but we should have two top five picks, it looks like. So uh, let's just go ahead and see the stats on the year first. This is kind of why I got D'Angelo Russell. And Vucevic put up some great stats, actually, 17 and 12 and a half. Maybe he did make an All-NBA team, and I just didn't see it. And then Jabari, then Devin Booker, then Zach Levine. I might have to move to Zach Levine uh, eventually next year, just see if I can get a big man if I don't get a good one in the draft, which hopefully I get Harry Giles. But let's simulate this. Uh, I feel like the Warriors are probably going to win it because I feel like they always do. And the Cavs come back from 3-1, it looked like, and the Cavs do win. And Kyrie Irving over LeBron James is your Finals MVP. So uh, we do have to see how this goes now for us. I know we do have a lot of young players, so the team options are going to rein in. Uh, let's sim to the NBA draft. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do in the whole pick category, but I'm interested to see what we do have. Uh, looks like we're going to have the... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got the first pick and the third pick. That is why... Okay, that's a... Okay, you know what? I'm not even mad about this now. We're going to have so much money probably in free agency. Uh, I want to trade someone in the draft probably just to see the uh, the contract, make sure we have more money for free agency. So who has who's a big contract? Tarek Black for 6.8. No, thank you. What is this deal? Uh, yes, please. Thank you for the... Okay, now the first and the second pick. Uh, does anybody else have a big contract? Uh, no, that's fine for him. Miles Plumley, get out of here. Brandon Dawson, thank you so much. All right, we're going to have some good money in free agency. Uh, Gerald Henderson for nine. I'm not looking to give him that either. Uh, thank you. This is awesome. I love this. Okay, first two picks. Uh, I'm going to look at some offers for him. We're going to have a lot of money to go in free agency, and I'm definitely excited about that. Probably going to go after either Russell Westbrook or LeBron. Probably LeBron, even though you guys are telling me not to get him so much lately, but... If I don't, I don't need Russell Westbrook at this point. Uh, Isaiah Thomas don't really need him. I don't need another point guard. Brandon Ingram. What do you put up? 14. I feel like I'd rather have... What the... All right, I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm sorry. Even if I'm eating his contract, I've never, I've never seen Andre Drummond before. I have to take Andre Drummond. That is, even if I'm eating his 26 million, that is that is a superstar. And we're going to get Harry Giles to be our power forward. So, And then Jabari Bar Parker can back him up or something. That is ridiculous. I've never seen Andre Drummond before. That is a huge, huge player that we got to trade for. So now I'm going to take Harry Giles, unless there's a really good trade, I guess. I feel like, like these are such good trades. Like, I never get offered these, really. I get Josh Jackson, who was just drafted. I, you know what? I'm not going to take Kyrie because we do have a point guard in D'Angelo. Let's take Harry Giles, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. All right, guys. We're here at rookie signings. Harry Giles was obviously our second pick, and we drafted Edgar Ware with the 23rd pick. Uh, I'll sign him just to be a roster spot. No problem there. Team player options. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Chalmers for four. That's not bad. Uh, just taking up more roster spots. So Chris Paul and Kyle already declined two point guards, which are probably don't. I don't even need point guards, honestly. No qualifying on this, and my free agents, Randy Foy, uh, 
We only have 14. Oh, it's because we ate his contract. I forgot. We did take in Andre Drummond. So maybe we can't get Giannis back, and that would be a problem, I guess. Uh, that would. Oh, Blake's here. I don't really ever see Blake. All right, damn it. Giannis is here. I guess that's kind of my fault. We could have got him back, maybe. Uh, I'm going to try to sign Rudy Gobert, and then maybe I could trade Rudy Gobert for Giannis. That's kind of how I'm going to be thinking right now. Because Rudy Gobert is a good backup center. Uh, and then he might even have more trade value. Or not going to have more trade value than Giannis. What am I thinking? But my bad for getting rid of Giannis. We do need a small forward, it looks like. Uh, Drummond's an 89. Vucevic an 82. Oh, I forgot we have Vucevic. I'm going to have to trade Vucevic too. So this team is looking good for the start of Season 2. And I'll see you guys at the start with some trades. All right, guys, so I do want to get Giannis Antetokounmpo back on this team. So Zach Levine and Rudy Gobert, two players that I said I was going to be trading anyways. Let's see if we can get Giannis for him. Uh, they don't want to do that, but I do have some picks, I believe. Yep, could I give up all of these besides our first-round pick? Actually, no, take our first-round pick this year. Easy as that. We get Giannis back. Don't get mad at me for not getting him in the first place, but what a starting lineup we're going to have. D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Harry Giles, and Andre Drummond with Nikola Vucevic being our sixth man. Actually going to look at some offers for him. Uh, you never know unless there's anything great. Uh, he is an 82 overall, but as a backup, he might not put up as good numbers as he did last year. Uh, does that see Jalen Brown? That's not a bad offer. Uh, I'm not seeing really anything else right here. Uh, Stanley Johnson I did see. Yeah, nothing else there. What could I actually, you know, him in a first round pick, in a second round pick. I feel like I could probably get something better for that. Uh, I feel like I should get something better for that. Uh, typically, you do. Uh, I'm not seeing anything here. Okay, you know what? I thought I'd get something better. You know what? I guess he doesn't have as much trade value as I thought, but this is the lineup we were rolling with for season number two. Probably not a championship team, but I'll see you guys at the end of season two where we'll probably make the playoffs this year. And at the end of season number two, Kevin Durant wins the MVP award, 31 points a game, 9.5 rebounds, and 6.5 assists. Dennis Smith wins Rookie of the Year on the 76ers. Nikola Vucevic wins Sixth Man of the Year, so you know what? I guess keeping him around was worth it. Uh, a little bit worse than, worse stats uh, this year than last year because we did have Andre Drummond. Anthony Davis, Depoy, uh, D'Angelo Russell wins Most Improved. Steve Kerr still wins Coach of the Year. We were six games back of them, so I guess we weren't better than the Warriors and record-wise, but... Player stats on the year, D'Angelo Russell 23, Harry Giles with 14, Booker around 14, Drummond with around 14. Good team all around. I did get Giannis back for you guys, as you did see. Giles actually led us in rebounding, then Drummond. Then assist was obviously D'Angelo Russell, but the Detroit Pistons, who we did take Andre Drummond from, are the first team we were playing, and we beat them in five. Now the Cleveland Cavaliers, who I could have got Kyrie from. Now the Knicks, uh, probably the toughest opponent that we're going to have to face yet. Uh, we're up 3-0 on them, no big deal there. And we do have to face the Golden State Warriors, so this might be the last year uh, possible. This team is really good, so if I have to hop in a game with them, I will, even though I suck at 2K. All right, 1-1 in the series. They're up 2-1. Come on, win this game. You know, I'm going to simulate this game. We're in Milwaukee. Come on, win. This is a big game here. We're at home. All right, it looks like we're going to win this one. 2-2 in the series. We are in Golden State. We're at Oracle. Come on, win, win, win. Come on. Nope, back and forth. Back and forth. All right, we just blew that. We blew the lead there. Come on. We're in Milwaukee here. Win this one. Come on. Just at least win this one. Come on. I'll hop in if I have to. Oh, my God. All right. Disappointing. Can't do anything about that. We're going on to another season. Not really that big of a deal, but I want to get this done in two. Stephen Curry's your finals MVP. Damn it, man. I really would have liked to get that done in two. Would have made me look so good for just forgetting Giannis back, but it's in the draft. Uh, we don't even have any picks, do we? But we do have to re-sign Jabari Parker, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we have bird rights on him. That would suck. No picks for us whatsoever. So I'm going to send two team player options. Uh, yes on all of these guys. KD's a free agent. So is Carmelo. Maybe Carmelo want to come to a contender. That's a possibility as always. I uh, My number one uh, thing I do have to do is re-sign Jabari Parker. He is restricted, so no big deal there. Uh, yep, $16 million. He should accept it. It said he wanted to stay. So I feel like he definitely probably should stay. Yep. Oh, no. Why do I always do that? Like, I always do that. Like, I always just hit, like, A and go right over it, like, the player. Like, I, like I just hit start, and it's just stupid. And why is 2K frozen? I have to re-offer it to Jabari now. Oh, my God. If we don't get him back, that's the biggest L. All right. Take even more money than I was going to offer you before. I'm going to give you, like, legit, legit take 17.5 with a player. If he doesn't come here, we are his number one offer. 
Thank you. I made sure I hit it there. Uh, come on, Mellow. We're a contender. Why wouldn't you want to come to a contender? I, I don't know how we are not a contender. So, you know what? It looks like the team is staying the same. Uh, we do have to bring back Chalmers, who is was an important member of our team last year. Um, I believe we have bird rides on him, so we should be able to bring him back. Uh, all right. We, all right. I guess we can't get Mario Chalmers back. He was important last year. Jeremy Grant does come back just to fill up another roster spot. No big deal there. Drummond's a 90. D'Angelo Russell's an 87. Giannis is an 87. Jabari's an 83. And I'll see you guys at the start of season number two with possibly some trades. Okay, guys. So no trades are going to be made. D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Harry Giles, and Andre Drummond. The starting five for the last season, season number three. Hopefully we can get it done this year. Uh, pretty much the same team as last year, so they might have a little bit better chemistry. And I'll see you guys at the end of season three. All right, guys, end of season number three, Stephen Curry MVP once again. Bol Bol is the rookie of the year. Chucky Black, all sixth man. LeBron, Depoy, Chris Dunn, most improved. Jason Kidd, coach of the year, finally 70 and 12. D'Angelo Russell, all NBA first team. This is our year, I feel like. Come on. D'Angelo Russell, Harry Giles. I mean, not, I mean, scoring was really spread out, I guess. Uh, rebounds, you can see the stats here. Come on, Pistons again in round one. All right, they won game one. That's scaring me, but we end up beating them in five. Uh, I almost paused the simulation. Uh, we almost sweep the Magic. Come on. We're up 2-0 on the Raptors. Come on, 3-0. Yes, come on. Uh, I really wanted to have to face the Kings, but I we guess we're not going to have to. And now we are facing the Golden State Warriors, 64-18. and 18. We were definitely better than them. We beat them a couple times this year. Damn it, we lose game one. All right, we win game two. We lose game three. Come on. All right, we win game four. Win game five. And yes, 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 yes. Man, we win and six games against the Golden State Warriors, who I believe still have Kevin Durant and D'Angelo Russell is your finals MVP. Derek Dulitsky calls it a career and decides to retire. Sorry about that and ends up making the Hall of Fame. But the roster one more time, Andre Drummond, D'Angelo Russell, Giannis Antetokounmpo, so who I did get back. So sorry about that if I made you guys pissed off in the first season. Uh, Jabari Parker, Nikola Vucevic, Harry Giles, Devin Booker, Thon Maker, Jeremy Grant, Brandon Dawson, Rashad Vaughn, Salah Medri. Sorry, no idea who that is. Uh, Edgar Ware, Lamar Malone, and Rodney Reese. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave the team you want me to do next down in the comment section. I'm um, running out of younger teams, so I guess I'm going to have to do an old team eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.